Peace to the family, man. Um, first things first, I want to say rest in peace, Juice World. I never really got into the music. I'm be honest, I'm being real honest right now. Never really listened to your music. But at the end of the day, you are a black young man, and you were taken away from us, right? The only song I really liked was Lucid Dreams, and that was the only song I really listened to because it was popular. It's one of your hits. And a few other ones, but I probably didn't know it was you. But anyway, nonetheless, rest in peace to you, young brother, man. Rest in power, man. Um, Yeah. But I just want to make this video real quick and, and clear and cut, man, for you guys, man, as listening who are fans of these rappers nowadays, man. And I want to tell you how most people you listen to, man, are pushing some type of agenda. And most people are not aware of that. And it's sad that people are not aware of these things because most of these things that these rappers are preaching and they rap about all day, drugs, sex, money, murder, and all these degrading type of characteristics and stuff like that can lead you astray which is the reason and the thing is about people like most people in the industry they know what's going on they know the agendas they got to push due to you know the higher ups telling them they got to push this type of music if not they won't be successful so that's the compromise they have to make right so people like juice world people like a lot of people man you can you can name like x you know what i'm saying rest in peace to him nipsey like most people most of these artists most of these people they know what's going on already so you can an, another a form of art is what music just like people like artists they they paint and they do any type of art that's on their mind and on their soul and they speak their truth all the time just like artists speak their truth but now a days artists speak their truth but on top of that they cover with a lie on top of a truth so it's kind of a paradox so it's kind of hard to read between the lines but i'm gonna tell you one thing i did my i did a little bit of research and i know how most of these rappers rap most of them be telling the truth and they tell signs and it's a little it's, it's a lot of hints and signs inside of their songs man you have to listen to the words that they say man a lot of words and a lot of where their their lyrics are suicidal stuff and all they rap is about being high on certain drugs and they're trying to escape some type of reality, right? Now, that creates an air for more kids to listen. Kids, you gotta understand that music draws people in, man. The frequencies, the sounds, the type of noises you hear in music, that can attract a kid. You got people in the industry now, beat makers and music makers, they make certain type of beats that you hear in cartoon-like beats, right? A kid in their right mind is gonna gravitate towards that because it reminds them of some type of cartoon. Just like a lot of beats, like a lot of days, got that little cartoonish like sound into it. So you have little kids listening to these type of beats and music. So if they listen to the beat, they're gonna be all right. Who who raps this song? They're gonna be more inclined to try to look up that person, the artist. Now, when they get into it, they hear the artist rapping about drugs, sex, money, murder. A lot of drug use, man. It's a lot of real. This epidemic is crazy right now, man. And you gotta understand, big pharma, all these industries and stuff like that have ties into these music industries, man. And it plays a big part in people dying, man. You see all these little ass kids overdosing, having seizures on drugs and Percocets and shit like that, man. I'm gonna tell you one person that I listen to, but I swear, bro, I know for a fact, obviously. Every, I'm, most of you guys know the future don't even do the drugs that he talk about in his songs, bro. He don't do none of this shit. And he feel ashamed of it. He's ashamed to rap these type of to rap this music and not actually do what he says he do. That's not what a man does, man. A man stays true by his word. None I mean, nonetheless, it's still bad for you regardless. Cause you're leading people astray, man. You gotta understand these public figures, man, they're they're very they're controlled, man. Their whole catalogs is, are controlled by the higher ups, man. Which results into pushing these type of agendas, man, that keep people brainwashed and keep people suppressed. We're living in the age of information, but if the wrong information gets to a kid, bro, it's over, bro. That kid is likely to just fall into doing drugs at an early fucking age, man. Excuse my language, but that's the way I'm feeling right now, man, because I just keep seeing it over and over. And the reason why it, I'm making this video is because just because I, because. Just like I see it in the music on a, on a, on a bigger scale, on a, in the entertainment aspect, I see it in real life too, man. I grew up all my life around drugs, man, sex, money, and murder and stuff like that, man. I, I grew around all those type of things, man. 
and I seen so many people die. One of my one of my close friends back in high school, he died from that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Trying to live a life that wasn't for him. He lived it, got caught up, developed schizophrenia, was, was prescribed drugs, gave him the wrong dosage. He died in his sleep, bro. I can go on and on about certain things, man. A lot of my, yo, a lot of family members of mine, bro, got caught up in drugs, bro, and they died from it. And you just keep seeing the same thing pushed. And it's and it's like, bro, when it, when are people gonna wake up and see that, yo? It, it, it is a it is a world against us, bro. Especially our kind of people, people that look like me. I'm dead serious, man. This shit ain't no this shit is no game, bro. And people acting like life comes around like nine times, like cats, bro. We not cats, bro. We're human beings. We get one, we get only one at bat, bro. At life, bro. And you keep throwing, you throw your life away by just resulting into indulging in things that's gonna, you know, serve as a detriment to you. Like, where's your morals, bro? Where's your dignity? Where Where's your self-value? When I see people do shit like that, man, I really, most people are talk down on people like that, but I really be feeling bad, man, because I be knowing, bro, because I seen it firsthand, bro, what, what people got to deal with on a daily, bro, that dude that, that, that are addicted to drugs, man, that shit is no joke, bro, it's no joke at all, bro. And then when you normalize it, bro, it really, it really becomes okay. Just like a lot of other fucking things are normalized, bro. A lot of things are normalized nowadays, bro. And because of it, things like this, things like this is happening on a daily now, bro. I'm not really surprised. I feel bad, but I'm not surprised because look, what's, look at the agendas being pushed, bro. Drugs is on top of the food, is on top of the, is on top of the chain of everything. Sex, then you got drugs. Then you got like other shit too But yo, everybody you know, Most people that I know, bro Everybody always talking about doing perks Now Everybody want to pop a perk 30 now Everybody want to pop perks now, man And I be feeling bad, bro Because it's like I see I see what road they going down, bro They might like it They might do it Do it But everything that you like ain't good for you, bro And that's real That's real rap right there Everything you like Might not Is, is, is not good for you, bro so you might like drinking, you might like doing drugs, you might like popping perks, but whoever said the shit was good for you, bro. They do this shit on a daily, man. Molly and all that crazy shit, bro. That shit ain't cool, man. And the reason I'm making it is because I, I just had to, bro. Everybody talking about, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna speak my piece about it too, but this is my perspective, man. Stop doing drugs, bro. Stop doing drugs, man. Like you guys are asking to die. You ask you guys are asking to die, bro. By just doing shit like that. Just so care carelessly, bro. And the thing about the the thing that confuses me the most, it be the it be people who be having the like bro, they be having the most loving parents and family members in their lives, bro, and they still result to shit due to peer pressure and due to trying to fit in like with the you know, fit the status quo, man. Trying to fit in and be a cool guy, man. And you killing yourself? Over some fucking little ass I mean, Come on man Do better bro Be better man Think better for yourself man Man Listen man Stop doing drugs bro When you understand how fucked up this world is man You realize Everything is geared against you bro Especially if you look like me bro You will have more reason to not go that way You know what I'm saying You're gonna go the other way Go the other way, man. Stop doing things everybody else doing, bro. Stop. Don't be a sheep, bro. Be a leader. Cause all sheep, cause most most leaders who are really sheep, they lead other sheep to get slaughtered anyway. And if you can't see that, your ass gonna be in that slaughterhouse. You're gonna be in that line waiting, waiting to be slaughtered, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Think for yourself, man. Most of these lifestyles people are living, people are living out. People out here are living double triple quadruple lifestyles man live one lifestyle stay true to it bro you don't gotta be like everybody else be you be the best you you can be and you is not someone doing fucking drugs man because you know what i'm saying if drugs are for everybody everybody would be doing this shit but drugs ain't for everybody most people just throw themselves in the realm of doing drugs even even it like it's not even a calling bro how you just gonna throw yourself in some shit that ain't meant for you bro it's not cool, bro. And I just don't like that, man. I feel like it's 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 too much shit going on, man. 
and people are still not hip to what's going on. Get hip to what's going on, change your paradigm, and stop doing shit everybody else doing, man, you know? Because it's not cool, bro. It's not cool. Pay attention to the music you're listening to, too, bro. That plays a big part on your psyche, bro. And it takes you to places that, you know, you either want to be or you don't want to be, man. And if you want to be in them dark-ass places with this music and shit, promoting drugs and all that other shit, then, you know what I'm saying, then do it. But if you really don't, well, I suggest you don't do this shit because obviously it's going to lead you astray, man. But still, watch the music you listen to. Stop doing drugs, man. Wake up and see what's going on around you, man. Change your paradigm, bro. I'm out, bro. Peace.